Okay, so here we are with our examples for slide two. I know that last video was kind of short, but I didn't want to change up the format how we've been having things structured. So we're only going to have one problem here. And for these, let's just go ahead and let's work in the command window. It'll be easier than flipping back and forth between the script and this other uh, window here. So for this one, what we're going to do, we're on number one in chapter four. We're going to basically do some tests and we're going to have the results stored in the variable x. Okay. Let's see what we get. So the first one, we want to check and see if 3 is greater than 2. Okay. So to do that, we'll just say x is equal to 3 greater, greater than 2. And then you hit enter and you should get a 1 or a 0. So now what do you think you would get? Remember, true is a 1 false is a zero. Okay, so three is greater than two though, right? So we know we should get a one. And there you go. So now x is equal to one. All right, so for the next one, let's see if two is greater than three. Now the test we're doing is right here. So it's checking to see if this statement is true or false. Okay, so obviously this is a false statement, so we would expect a zero. And that's what we get. Let's go over a less than or equal. So let's see if negative 4 is less than or equal to negative 3. And that one is true. So you get 1. Let's use an inequality. So let's test and see if 2 is not equal to 2. Now obviously 2 is equal to 2, so this should be 0, because that is a false statement. All right, so we have 0 there. Next, let's do equality. Let's check and see if 3 is exactly equivalent to 3. Obviously it is, so we would get a true statement there, which would be a 1. And then this next one, let's see what we get. So here, we want to do a test and see if 0.5 is greater than 0, less than 1. All right, so before you type it out, what do you think you should get? Looking at it, it looks, looks true, right? So let's see if MATLAB agrees. So it gives us 0. All right, so the way we read it, it looks like it should be 1, right? Because we look at it automatically when you look at the middle number and then we do the check. And we see is 0.5 greater than zero? Yes. And then we look and see if 0.5 is less than one, which it is. So to us, it seems like that should be one. MATLAB though does not think like that. Remember I said MATLAB goes left to right. So you have to use that when you're creating these test statements. So when it uses it and goes left to right, MATLAB's going to do the test on this statement right here first. So it's going to check and see if 0 is less than 0.5. Okay, so 0 is less than 0.5. So MATLAB sees that as a 1. So then the test it's really doing next is going to be a test on is 1 less than 1. All right, so the 1 here was from this test. And then the less than one comes from here. So one less than one, this is a false statement. Okay, so that's why you get the zero. So this is one of those instances where you'd need to do a more complicated test. You'd want to use that and, the ampersand in your statement. All right, and we'll, I'll show you how to do that when we get to the, to the next section. Okay, so just keep this in mind, it's left to right. And you can't think of it the way we think of it when we see it. you got to think about it how MATLAB sees it. All right, so I'll see you all in the next video.